Hi viewer, I, I welcome you to Ring TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through Form 1 Business Studies. The topic it is Satisfaction of Human Words. Lesson is lesson number 7. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mudoli. Welcome. Let us look at our lesson objectives. Uh, the first one you are going to explain the meaning and characteristics of human mode and then we classify the human mode. So by the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to explain and I liked the characteristics of the human words and also uh, classify the human words. Satisfaction of human words, that is where you are starting. But the first thing you are going to define what is the human words. Human words are the desires that human beings try to satisfy by using the available goods and services. So that is your desires. What do you need? What do you need for your survival? You need food. You need shelter. You need clothing. You also need uh, education. Luxurious goods. You need a car. You need uh, to varnish your house. All those ones, they are your desires. Satisfaction of human want is a process of acquiring and using goods and services. So that process of acquiring the goods and services it is now when you are satisfying your needs. Now, when we talk about needs, as from what you have on the screen, that image, you have needs, these are necessities, and you have wants. So I, I say human needs and human wants. So when we talk about the human needs, these are necessities. We have water. Food, shelter, eat, clothing, other one they are supposed, the essentials of life. Then we have what? These are luxuries. For example, when we talk about a car, money, computer, the DVD player, education, that one you need them for comfort. Then we look at the characteristics of the human world. One of the characteristics of human world, they are insatiable. Human world cannot be fully satisfied as they are endless, they are unlimited in nature. For example, uh, if I tell you you are striving to get a car, you get that car, so the next thing you are going to start getting something else. So they are unlimited. Number two, they vary in intensity and urgency. Goods and services required vary from one person to another. That is the reason that we say that the human watch vary in intensity. There are those that are urgent, there are those that are intense. There are those that are not urgent. For example, when we talk about the urgent, someone might take that getting a car, it is urgent. Another person, you get that food, it is also an urgent to that person. So they keep on varying, depending to age, gender, and situations. The third one, they are competitive. When we talk about competitive, human won't compete for attention since they are unlimited while resources are satisfy to uh, res while resources to satisfy them are limited in supply so they are competing i want this i want this which one should come first according to the resources that you need they are repetitive recurrent once satisfied you might want a real car thus the satisfaction does not last forever. For example, if I tell you want food, yesterday you have gotten that food, tomorrow you still need that food. They are recurrent. Some, some wants are universal. 
Most human words are common to all human beings, though in varying quantities. For example, when we talk about food, eat, education, shelter, clothing, but they are, they keep on varying from one person to another. Number six, they are habitual. Once an individual develops a taste for a commodity, he intends to use it over and over again, thereby becoming an official user. For example, when we talk about the food, the food that one needs, the food that one enjoys taking, it becomes an habit. Number seven. <coughs> Excuse me. They are complimentary. Complimented satisfaction of human wants may create a need. A second want may be derived from the first. A purchase of a car creates need for the fuel. Number eight, they require resources. How human wants require resources for them to be satisfied. Since the resources are scarce, only a few of human wants are satisfied. Activity. Explain the characteristics of human want. Reference. KMB 20 Revenue. Invent a secondary business student book one, that edition. If I tell you have any question, you can get us through the SMS. You can also get us from the YouTube. You can get us from the Facebook and also from Twitter. Stay tuned to your team.